Uh, my name is John Jordan. Um, I'm a bass player in Austin, Texas. I'm pleased to be here in my own home today talking to you all about um, uh, these beautiful exotic pedals, wonderful, incredible pedals that these guys are making. Uh, I, I used to play and still do occasionally with a uh, guitarist that also works with him named Chris Duarte. And uh, he's got a couple of films up on their website. You should check him out and check out all those films. They've got a bunch of films of different great players playing these pedals and their guitars too. And, uh, but anyway, Chris, uh, Chris and I played together for years and years, and uh, we did a, a little tour over the summer together, a reunion tour. And, uh, and on the, in the course of the tour, um, he was, uh, has always played a 63 Strat and, uh, for years and years, and he had one and it got stolen, and then he got another one, and then he just wore it out, just playing it so hard. And so we played thousands of gigs together, and he played so many of them that uh, the, on that guitar, they just finally kind of was getting tired, and he thought it was going to, you know, eventually just wipe the guitar out if he kept playing it. So, uh, so he connected up with these guys and uh, they made him a guitar that, that was a, um, a, perfect, a perfect replacement for his cherished 63 Strat. And in fact, it feels just like a 63 Strat. It looks like they're a guitar and, and it sounds great and it sounds just like, you know, um, a beautiful, you know, modern guitar, but it feels to him under his hands and where everything is, where the five ways add and everything, how the bridge feels on his wrist, how it sits against his body, all of that stuff feels like home, so he can just close his eyes and feel like he's at home. But at the same time, it's a beautiful new modern guitar, so they worked real hard with him. And so he was telling, was, as we were touring, he was all excited telling me about these great, this great guitar that they'd made for him, and he's got another one too, I think, and uh, um, that he also took had on the road with him, and then I said, you know, and he's got all these. Always had a lot of pedals, but it's like, man, your sound. He's like, he used to have like four amplifiers, and now he was playing with with two amplifiers, which is great for us because we don't have to carry as much stuff, you know. But uh, um, but he said, no, man, these pedals. It, it's like I can get any tone that I want with these pedals. That, and I said, who are the pedals by? And he said, the same people that make the guitar. And I was like, wow, man. And so he was. A, so he, that was the, my first introduction. Was just this last summer touring with Chris when he was showing me these uh, some of these pedals and uh, and how I can just you know get at these great great tones and great preamps and great boosts and great distortions and all this cool stuff that these pedals do. And uh, Chris is a, a like. Uh, like Texas guitar players in general, Chris is all about tone. I mean, tone is is sort of everything to him as a guitar player. And the, the most of all the pedals, they about a month ago, uh, Chris introduced me to Yoshio San over here, and and uh, um, and and we connected, and they sent me a box of these pedals to check out because they were coming into Austin, and uh, um, and exploring the Austin Austin scene. And so they, about a month ago, they sent me a box full of these pedals. There's some here, there's some on the floor, and a. Uh, and so I've been checking them out ever since and turning on my musician friends to them too. And, uh, and the, thing that I, the first thing I noticed is that all these pedals, virtually all of them except for this one that I'll talk to you about in a little while, the Robotalk, which is a totally cool pedal. But, but, um, but all of them are about tone. You know, and, and all of them have something to do with making your tone better and enhancing your tone and, and bringing it to life. And, and so... Uh, so I'm here today just kind of uh, show you some of the things I've learned about these pedals. I, honestly, these are such uh, sophisticated pedals, and they're so musical that I, I could spend a year at learning just how, they're like instruments, honestly, you know. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm, I'm not here, I'm not endorsing these pedals. I'm just bragging on them, you know. That's why I'm here is because they sent me and, you know, I was like, yeah, Chris, I'll, you know, I'll help, you, I'll help out your friends because they made you a great guitar and he's my friend. So, you know, it was just kind of like I was doing him a solid, but then when I got here, I was like, oh, these pedals are amazing, man. And, and they really are. And, uh, and I hope that you'll check them out for yourself. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, I'll try to do some justice to them. Like I said, I could, I could spend a year on these things, learning how to just get them dialed in, you know. So a couple of things I want to say just generally about these pedals. Uh, first of all, they're... When you heft them in your hand, when you just hold them, you go, well, this is quality. I mean, you can just tell it's solid. It feels good. It feels well made. You know, everything sits tight. It feels good. And you can just tell when you're, especially with some of the pedals I've had, because I've, I've had pedals all my life, you know. And, uh, um, you know, some of them are just, even if they sound cool, they just, um, you know, they don't, uh, 
really aren't really built to last, you know. Like, I won't mention any names, but I've stomped several of them to death. Anyway, these, so they're just well built. So that's the first thing you can see about them, you know. The next thing that, uh, and I, my favorite thing about the, all of these pedals is that they're musical. It's like, even, you know, like, like uh, one of my students that you may meet later in, in one of these films or not, but maybe you'll meet him. Um, his, his idea of pedals is just crank everything up all the way, you know, and, uh, which is cool because they actually sound really good. They sound kind of radical, but they, they, they're always musical. And that's the thing about, you know, there's a lot of pedals that there's just, you know, there's sort of just one setting that's useful, you know, that actually sounds good. And then the rest of it's just like, you know, what, why well, you should have just locked it down like that. But the, these pedals are musical no matter what you do with them. And that brings me to the, another point about these pedals is that the things that you do to these pedals really matter. Like, you know, um, like on this, on this preamp, this, this this is this AC plus right here. There's a, 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 a on the on the preamp side. There's bass, mid, and treble. And when you and and I'll I'll, I'll get in all these pedals later. But but when you when you tweak these knobs, something actually happens. You know when you turn the bass up, the bass actually goes up and. I, I don't know how, what kind of pedals you guys have, but a lot of my pedals, you know, it's like, it's either like real extreme or it hardly does anything, you know, but these, uh, these knobs are real sensitive. They do what they say they do and, uh, and they actually work. And so, you, and so you can get real, um, real variance from, the, from each of the knobs. So you can really dial in your sound and get real particular with it, you know. And it's, you know, and a lot of times you get a sound, that, a general setting that's, that's like perfect you know, just in your living room, like I'm sitting in here right now. But then you get out on the gig and the acoustics of the room are different or something. Well, you know, th that's when that tweaking comes in because then you, you can kind of adjust it to get the tone that you want. And that, which brings me to another thing about just sort of the general idea of tone is that these things, um, in my experience, um, I've, I've sort of discovered two really cool uses for them. One of them is um, in the back room where it's actually my practice room. I won't mention the brand name again, but it's, it's just my practice amp. And it's just, it's an okay amp, but it's not a great amp. This amp that I'm, I'm playing for, for y'all today is, is a wonderful amplifier. But I've got this kind of just, you know, mid-level, not great amplifier. And the thing about these pedals that I think is just great is that you can you can use them to like really dial your sound the sound that you hear in your head with lesser equipment and like if I was on the road and like doing backline in Eastern Europe or something like that where it gets really you know iffy sometimes you know to be able to to be able to just kind of have your tone in a briefcase you know set it up and no matter what sort of junk you get stuck with or you know even if it's just not junk but it's just not the kind of amp that works for you you know then you can dial in the sound with these this there's a, this bass trilogic bass preamp right here is just a real sensitive little preamp that does exactly you know it's got volume gain you know bass treble and mid and it, all those things are just exactly you know the frequencies that I want to hear when I turn up the mid it's, it's that's that's what I'm talking about you know and when it it's, when it, it's giving me the trebles that I want so I can find I can find my tone and and so that's a really cool thing to make kind of a lesser amplifier sound a lot better is an invaluable thing because this is a real world you know we don't always get to play on the kind of gear you know that we would like to have you know if we could just carry our stuff around because a lot of times you just can't you know you're on the airplane or whatever so it's real practical the other thing is that, that I think is just killer is that when you do have a great amplifier like I've got right here when you've got a really killer amplifier you know then what you've got when, when what you got with these pedals is it's is kind of like having it's um, you know it's like having a really extra amplifiers in a way you know for example and I'll, I'll get started with playing some pedals right now so this is this is just the tone that's coming off my amplifier so it's just a nice basic bass tone you know it's not um, it's not particularly colored, but you know mainly the main thing that I want for my amplifier is for it to sound like my bass You know, I don't want it to really sound like anything I just want it to be what you know basically my idea of a great amplifier is it sounds like what it sounds like when I put my ear on my bass and just listen to my guitar, you know, and so that's that's kind of my basic tone that I go for Just a nice clean, you know Happening sound, you know <laughs> 